Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video, let's take a look at the properties and actions in LiveWire. So if you go to LiveWire documentation, in the essentials, we have properties and actions. And we talk about properties a little bit in the previous video. So properties, store and manage data inside your LiveWire components. So they are defined as public properties and component classes and can be accessed and modified on both server and client side. Also here we have now initializing properties, so you can set initial values pro for uh, properties within your components mount method. So once we have an example here, public to do's, which is equal with an empty array, uh, to do with empty string and then we have the mount method and set this to do, which is an empty array to be equal without user to do's. So we get the to do's of the authenticated users. Now let's open the project. I have removed that uh, name we had in the previous video. So if I open the VS Code and let's open the navigation blade inside the resources views live wire out so here we had the dollar sign name and if I refresh yeah it it is by I removed that let's save let's close and what I'm going to do I'm going to open the welcome blade and here I'm going to copy or cut this and select all and remove and I'm going to say I'm going to use the X Guest layout here because it's going to be more clean and then paste this if the route has login live wire out navigation. Let's save and let's see now if I refresh here. Here's the login and register and let's zoom it a little bit. And I'm going to create a new component to work with the properties. So let's say PHP artisan make live wire and I'm going to name it tasks. Hit enter. Now we have the PHP class in the live wire tasks, app live wire tasks and the blade in the views live wire tasks. Okay, let's close. And first of all, I'm going to render that component in here in the welcome. So let's say first a div and in this div, I'm going to render that. So live wire, not out but tasks and I'm going to close. If I save and refresh right now, nothing changed. But if I open the tasks blade, okay, and let's change something here. So for example, I'm going to say H1 and just say tasks here. If I save now, as you can see, here is the tasks. Okay. Now let's see the example with the mount I'm going to open also the tasks class and this is going to be in this tab and the blade in this tab okay so let's create here a public property the b dollar sign tasks and equal with an empty array and then a public task able with an empty string and now let's create that mount method and in here with a dub 9 we get this task to be able with app model tasks but we don't have that we don't have the database yet with these projects but i'm going to create a project and create also the database for that for now what i'm going to do i'm going to say this tasks to be able with an array and for example let's say a first task, second task, and let's close. If I save, and let's see on the browser, yeah, nothing changed now. What I'm going to do in here, I'm going to display the tasks. So tasks is an array, and the display here, I'm going to add a UL, and then I'm going to make a for each. Tasks as dollar sign task and here let's say li and display a single task if I save 
as you can see here, we have first task and second task. So on mount, we initialize this task with this array. Okay. Now let's go here and let's scroll down also. We have also data binding. So LiveWire supports two-way data binding through the wire model HTML attribute. Now, if you have worked with uh, Vue.js, is the same as Vue.js V model. This allow you to easily synchronize the data between component properties and HTML inputs. So keeping your user interface and component state in sync. And let's use the wire model directive to bind the to-do property. So in this example, we have something like this. We have this method. So if I open actions in here, LiveWire actions are methods on your component that can be triggered by front-end interactions like clicking a button or submitting a form, and they provide the developer experience of being able to call the PHP method directly from the browser, so allowing you to focus on the logic of your application without getting bogged down or writing a boilerplate code connecting your application from front-end and back-end. And you can see an example here. For example, here we have save method, and post create so on. Now let's copy this with the copy the input and also the button and paste it in here. So after the H1, I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to remove the placeholder and not to do here, but I'm going to use the task properties because here we have task in our case. And here I'm going to say just add and let's add uh, some classes. So class the BBG Indigo, for example, uh, 500 and Pivot Tube, I'm going to say. If I save this and let's see the browser, yeah, we have something like this and refresh. Yeah. Okay. Now we added the wire model task, which is this task here. Now anything we type here is going to be in this task. And let's use the add method. So I'm going to copy what we have in this one and paste it right here. Not to do's, but it's going to be in our case tasks. And also this task here. And I'm going to remove for now this one. And let's save. So we have a button with a wire click directive. And when we click to this button, we are going to call this add method when we have here. So this add method now is going to say this tasks array in the, this array. We're going to add also the task we have in here, which is going to be what we put in the input. So let's see in the action, if I refresh, and let's say a third task, for example. And if, yeah, if I hit enter, now we have a third task here. But as you can see, this third task is remaining. And if I say dot, 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 enter, yeah, we have here and it's remaining. Now, in this example, we had this to do to be equal with an empty string. So it's going to reset the state. And let's do also in our example. So let's say this task equal with an empty string. If I save now and let's refresh and let's say uh, third task again, hit enter. We have the third task, but we don't clean the input. And that's it because if I open uh, here, we are in the welcome and we use this quest layout. And if I open that, so Guest Blade. In here we have Vit passing the app CSS and app JS. And if I open the app JS, we have imported here the Alpine from Alpine JS. And we say window Alpine to be able with Alpine and Alpine start. But as I told you in the previous video, the LiveWire version 3 injects automatically the Alpine 
with the live wire. So we don't need to import the spine also here. For that we have this error. So if I uh, comment this and save, and now if I refresh, let's say a third task again, and if I hit enter, now we have third task and we clean the input because we use this task to be able with an empty string. Also, we, uh, Livewire provides a reset method that accepts one or more property names and reset their values to their initial state. So instead of this task to be able with an empty string, we can say this reset and pass here the property name. So for example, task, but if you have more, you can add also more there. If I save and refresh again, say third task, add here, and yeah, we have third task and we clean the in. Now if you go to actions and let's scroll down, we have event listeners. So Livewire supports a variety of event listeners, allowing you to respond to various types of user interactions. So here we have a listener and descriptions and let me zoom it. So wire click, what we added in our project. In task, we have wire click. This triggered when an element is clicked. We have wire submit. is triggered when a form is submitted. So let's do that. Let's, instead of wire click, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to cut and paste this in the form. So I'm going to say form and paste that input and button and now in this form I'm going to say wire colon submit to be equal and say add here if I save come here and refresh and let's say test for example hit enter now we have test here so we worked with uh, wire submit also we have a wire key down is triggered when a key is pressed down. A key up, wire key up, triggered when a key is released. We have also wire mouse enter. So let's use this. Copy and move back to this one. And instead of wire click, I'm going to say mouse enter. And if I save and see one more time here, refresh, just say test and now if I enter the mouse in the button it's going to add this okay and whatever text follow after the wire colon will be used as the event name of the listener now also here we have listening for specific keys so wire key down enter example here wire key down shift enter and below is a list of all the available key modifiers so shift enter space control cmd meta and so on you can read more in the documentation also event handle modifiers so livewire also includes helpful modifiers to make a common event handling tasks trivial so for example wire key down dot prevent and prevent is equivalent of calling dot prevent default we have stop window outside document and so on also here and you can read more in the documentation of uh, livewire now that's it all about this video i wanted to show you if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much